Hello everyone, this is Reverend Kyle with the video tutorial on how to install Dexter's Froyo onto the Milestone XT720 mobile phone. I have here a Milestone XT720 loaded with the stock Cincinnati Bell 2.1 right out of the box. So we have here 2.1 and again it's the Cincinnati Bell uh, SBF it has been recently flashed uh, other than what comes out of the box nothing else has been done to this machine other than I've signed into my Google account uh, and gone to the market and downloaded two items <clears throat> the Astro free uh, Astro file manager and uh, Quadrant to uh, benchmark prior to doing that. As you can see, there's nothing else in here other than what is stock. Uh, it has not been rooted and there's nothing else fancy going on with it right now. Uh, I've already run, run Quadrant on it. Uh, again, no uh, overclocking or no rooting or whatnot. Just stock out of the box. Uh, I got 489 and uh, that is pretty typical of what I've gotten with the stock. Uh, just to show you that it's not overclocked or anything special. Uh, let's see here, 720 megahertz. The amount of memory available and whatnot. There we go. The next step in uh, putting the Froyo on this device is to set up the SD card. Okay, so the phone is plugged in now and is going to show up on my screen. Okay. All right, so there we go. And it looks like I'm under Portal and Tools. I'm going to go in and change that to Memory Card Access. Okay. So here we are, uh, we have this right here, my F drive represents the SD card in my phone. It is file system FAT32, uh, nothing special. It is an 8 gig, it does have an EXT2 uh, partition on it as well, but that is not necessary. Okay, so as it stands right now, Android has put in some default items just from it being in there when I flashed it. That's fine, we can leave those alone, or we can empty them. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to delete them. Goodbye. Okay, here is the XT720 version 10 directory that uh, Dexter put out uh, back, I believe it was February 1st or 2nd. I know that there are newer versions out and that's fine. Uh, that's up to you to download those and put them in. Uh, essentially, I'm going to take this entire directory and paste it into the root of the SD card. And yes, they should go in the root. Now, while this is copying, I'm going to show you that inside the Nandroid directory is an open recovery directory and inside there is the stock 22. Now that is the directory that Dexter has put in the actual images and whatnot. If you download additional uh, versions uh, of it, if you put them into this directory along with stock 22, then that would allow you to flash it without having to uh, do other fun stuff. The next step requires the phone to be in, and again, I'll, I'll stress this, portals and tools. From here you go into the root directory and then you will click on Super One Click. Super One Click is going to give you a button that says root and when you press that it restarts the ADB server waiting for device and I've noticed that I have actually not gone in and turned on debugging so I will do that as well
and that prompts Super One Click to identify the phone. And now I'm rooted. It was that quick and that easy. So from here, now that I'm rooted, I can close that and close that. And I am essentially completely done with my computer. Everything else I will be doing on the phone itself. So I can actually unplug my USB cord because I am, again, done with the computer end of this. Okay. I'm going to go into the Astro File Manager. This is my first time into it. And I am at the root of the SD card, if uh, you can't tell that. And uh, I have Open Recovery here. And apparently Papa John's Any Large Pizza for $10 order now. Okay, uh, Open Recovery. I'm going to open App Manager and install this. Do you want to install this program? Most definitely. Now, after this is done installing, uh, per Dexter's instructions, uh, I will reboot the phone. Uh, the other piece of this is that the system recovery does need root access. And you'll notice that because of the super one click uh, that, whoops. Because of the super one click, we now have super user available in our menu and uh, there is system recovery which we just installed so per Dexter's advice I'm now going to turn the phone off and then I will power it back on the very familiar M You'll notice after the flash of the new version that this fun little burst M uh, goes away and uh, a, a very uh, funky looking T, I guess is the best way to say it, uh, pops up. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so from here, we'll wait for everything to populate. One thing that I have noticed, and, and hopefully everybody else uh, uh, takes this as a good piece of advice, let this phone settle down after you've rebooted it. Uh, I can't stress enough how much patience you have to have. It, just like a computer, this is a device that has to uh, run its processes at the beginning. So as you see here, uh, we must have a little patience. So now we're prepared to hit system recovery. It will take a moment again. And here we have it. So we're going to click on install system recovery. It needs super user request allow. And again, a little patience. Install success. We press OK. Recovery boot. The program is rebooting our phone into the open recovery module. This is different than what you would get if you were to boot into recovery mode using the combination of buttons that we're all aware of, hopefully. Okay, the important piece here is knowing that we're going down to an Android. And I'm using the volume up and volume down buttons to uh, decide going up and down. And then we'll use the button for camera, uh, the shutter button, to actually select OK. And we are going to do a restore. And we're going to do stock. And whoops. 
we're going to restore all. After this is complete, we are going to go in and wipe the phone and do a full reset. So at this point, uh, it does say that it's done. You can see that the light has stopped flashing. And uh, I'm going to go back and again go back and yet again go back. Now I'm going to go down to wipe data factory reset. And down to yes, and wiping data, formatting data. Uh, this is uh, invasive, and I must give you a warning. We'll delete all of the data on the phone. Any personal information that you had on the phone will be gone. In case you didn't catch that, this is going to wipe away all of your data. So if you press that, it will erase all of your data. I hope I'm very clear on that. At this point, we're done. Uh, data wipe has been complete. I'm pressing reboot phone and off we go to the races. This does not change the Motorola logo. Again, patience. Uh, last time I did this, I think it did take 30 seconds to a minute. While we are waiting for this, uh, I'm going to also speak a bit about the uh, different languages and whatnot. Uh, I know people have been requesting different languages. Um, I, unfortunately, live in the United States and have a... I live in Cincinnati, so I have a Cincinnati Bell phone. Uh, I cannot speak to the different languages. Uh, I know that this is a uh, a board that supports many different countries and I think that's wonderful but I cannot personally assist you with the different languages that are available. I'm sorry. Here's our T. I really think this is a, a much better logo. I, I, I feel ignorant for not knowing what this T is. Uh, I believe it probably has something to do with the fact that this is a Korean ROM. Uh, if somebody has the answer to this, I, I would be uh, I'd be curious to know what the T means. One other thing I want to mention is that the launcher that comes with this ROM, in my opinion, is inferior to some of the other third party options. Uh, I personally use ADW Launcher, and I know Launcher Pro. Uh, I've used that a couple times as well. Uh, I am a fan of ADW Launcher. I think it's smooth, and it has a lot of customization options. Okay, so from here, you'll notice the H, uh, HSPA. I'm going to skip this here. And I'm going to actually sign in uh, one moment here. So I'm actually in now. I do want to confirm here with everyone by going to settings and about. There we go. 2.2.1. Baseband version, all is well in the world. Okay, uh, so this has been uh, Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Phones, with the instructions on how to install Dexter's Froyo for the Milestone XT720. Uh, I'm sure that there will be requests. Uh, that's fine. Uh, please send them to me, and I'll do what I can to assist with the community.